Good afternoon. I wanted to show you a couple more pieces of information that you'll find useful as you work with your JavaScript code. Take a look at the information that I have on the screen. And here I have the tutorial information that we were looking at previously. We were looking at the Monroe Public Library as well as the script that I previously added. And I'm just going to slightly move this over to reveal the folder underneath. And this folder contains the four files as we had previously. I'm going to move this over, and I'm going to add this page to Firefox. I'm just going to drop it onto the page. Notice that Firefox loads as you'd expect. And as we finished up our last piece of JavaScript, we noticed that if we point at the email address, the mail to is added in the bottom left corner. Now, I'm going to introduce an error, and I want you to see how to troubleshoot this. And what I'm going to do is change this variable name that I'm writing to the screen, and you see it as the email address which is in the first row of the table in the third column. And the name of this variable is emlink, and I'm going to change that to emstink. Save my change, and then refresh my web page by pressing F5. Notice that Firefox doesn't tell me that there's an error. However, if I click Tools, and then the Error Console, Notice that I receive a message that says that emstink is not defined, and so that I can use this information to find a problem in Firefox. I'm going to clear that error, and then I'm going to close Firefox at this point. Next, I'm going to go back to my uh, HTML code and my Java code, and I'm going to press Control z to undo the change that I just made to my variable. And so notice it's emlink again. I'm going to save that. And I have my file. Now I have Internet Explorer open. So I'm going to click and drag the HTML file on my blank page to load it. Now notice that Internet Explorer operates differently than this Firefox. And so with Internet Explorer, I receive the information bar. And if I want the JavaScript code to run, assuming my current settings for JavaScript, which is uh, medium security, and I have to click and then allow the blocked content. So I'm going to do that. I received this message. Are you sure you want to run this active content? In other words, it's your fault if something goes wrong. So I'm going to say yes. And now notice in the bottom left corner, I received the message that tells me I'm done. And so everything looks fine. If I point at the address, I still see the mail too in the bottom left corner. Next, I'm going to go right back and introduce that error replace emlink with emstink, save that change, click on my web page, press F5 to refresh it. Now keep your eye on the bottom left corner as I press F5. Notice that I received the done message, but I have the little yellow triangle. So I double click the yellow triangle, and this also provides me with a message that tells me that emstink is undefined. And further, it tells me that it's on line 31. And so if I look at line 31, I can see there's my variable, and that points me right at my problem. And so I'm thankful for the help. I close this. I go back, change my variable to the way that it's supposed to be, save my change, refresh my web page. Notice that now I'm done with no error, and my email address shows as expected. One other thing that I wanted to introduce to you is what to do if a browser is not set to accept JavaScript code or if somebody's using an old browser. Many people are still using old browsers and they've not updated. And so look at my script. The Java code script runs, and I'll highlight that whole area, from script start to script end. Now, if a browser encounters a code that it doesn't understand, typically the browser will just ignore it. And so a non-compliant browser would run into the code on line 23 and ignore it. However, the code that's on lines 25 through 32 might be interpreted by the browser and it might show unfriendly text. And so the trick is then to comment out all of the JavaScript code so that the browser ignores it. And so if I have a non-compliant browser, it gets to line 23, it skips it, it views it as white space, 
gets to line 24 and says, oh, this is HTML code that tells me to comment out what follows. And then it looks at lines 25 through 33 as commented out text. Then, when we get to line 34, I want to comment out all of my text there as well, and then end my comment at the very end of the line. On line 35, when the browser encounters the end script element, the browser ignores it and then continues to end the header and so on. Now, let's look at this using a browser uh, that you would be using today that does accept JavaScript. So then we go to line 23. Your browser correctly interprets uh, this as an introduction to what follows as JavaScript. And then looks at line 24 and says, this doesn't belong here, so ignore it. And then gets to lines 25 through 33 and then performs as you would expect. It executes each line of code. When your browser reaches line 34, it looks at that as the end of a comment. It says, that's HTML. That shouldn't be here. Ignore it. Gets to line 35, ends the script, and then continues on as you'd expect. And so this should help give you some basic understanding as to how your web browser interacts with Java, and then how we would also uh, use HTML within a script to trick an old browser.